Pentimento is a video storytelling program for high school students in St. Louis Public Schools. After a successful start with students from the Wellston and Grand Center areas, Pentimento is beginning its third program in South City at Roosevelt High School. During the Pentimento program, the students choose their stories, film them, and edit them, and then premiere the stories in front of their friends, families, and others in the neighborhood. This semester's stories here at Roosevelt High School are homelessness, stray rescue animal shelters, Um, we're going in now, we're about to meet the man. So happy. In the school food program. The goal is to get students connected to their communities through media and to tell stories about positive social change. Welcome back to STL TV Live. I'm Sarah Bernard, and here to talk about his most recent documentary project is Speak Up Productions founder Dan Paris, and accompanying him is Quinsanta Boyd, a student at Roosevelt High School. Welcome, Quinsanta and Dan. Always a pleasure. Thank you. So we've just seen a bit of a preview of your latest project, Pentimento, which is a program that brought high school students and filmmaking together. So tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, for, for a long time, I remember I met with, uh, you know, aldermen and police officers and just different people who had, I just kind of pitched this idea of like, I want to teach video production to students in the city and kind of every little avenue I went kind of flopped and then just out of nowhere with none of my own doing, a lady named Edie Bernard, who's the founder of the Midwest Center for Media Literacy, called me up and she says, hey, we got this grant to teach students video production. Are you mm -hmm. interested? And I'm like, oh my gosh, this is the exact thing I've been looking forward to doing. And so... The program's called Pentimento, St. Louis Story Mapping Project. So the idea of Pentimento is uh, like an image, like something you may see on a wall, like say like Lent Brewery, for example, mm -hmm. and then it's faded because it, you know, the company moved out of the way, but you can still see that image, but it's kind of below the surface. And the idea is that Pentimento is to find stories that are below the surface, stories in a community, in a neighborhood that people wouldn't normally know about. And then the story mapping idea is that we put them on a Google map so that you can find the location the story took place and pull it up and see, oh, a story took place here and okay. watch the story. And so we have a Google map on our website, pentimento.tv, that you can, you can check out. And you click and see the mm -hmm. films that were made. So how many films have you done in this inaugural year? So the program actually started in 2010. So they did it before I came on board, mm -hmm. but then I took over this past year. And so in this past year, we've done nine films uh, with 11 students. And most of the students have been from Clyde C. Miller High School and Roosevelt High School. Okay, and Quinsanta, I want to talk to you because you were one of the students who got to benefit from this. And you mm -hmm. envision a career down the road in filmmaking or music production we were talking yes. about. So something in the, in the entertainment production world. Mm -hmm. How did this work in this project help you to be more clear about that direction? Well, this project, actually, it gave me a better insight on uh, everything that I wanted to do in the future. Mm -hmm. Honestly, Dan is a great mentor. He basically taught me everything about cameras. So as far as the project goes, it's helping me out uh, as far as my, uh, as far as how much I'm learning there. In planning your future. Yeah, and working with a professional like Dan is mm -hmm. really neat, probably in a school environment where you, get, you were able to get the hands-on hands -on opportunity uh, with an outside person, yeah. not just one of your regular teachers, <laughs> right. right? So your your film, uh, which has been seen already at your high school, we're going to see it again uh, this Sunday at the Tivoli, the part of the St. Louis Filmmakers Showcase, yeah. is about the school lunch program. Is that right? Yes, ma'am. So tell us a little bit about that. Um, it's talking about how the uh, food has differentiated over the years as, as far as the school. Mm -hmm. Like this year, the, um, the food kind of tastes a little different, and I kind of wanted to find out why? Yeah, why it changed. <laughs> and I actually found out because of obesity, uh, obesity and Miss Obama that the, uh, the meat changed to turkey to make okay. everything more healthy. There's less, uh, I mean, there's less seasoning just to have the, uh, 
for more allergies. Yeah, so you learned about um, why the food was different, and now you're able to educate your um, your other the other students um, about that, so maybe they'll embrace that change yeah. <laughs> all through making a film. So a story right here in progress. We're going to take a quick break, but when we come back, we're going to learn a little bit more about the project and also meet another filmmaker with Dan. So we'll be right back. Thank you.